Hi everyone, welcome to the next episode of my career mode of Stevenage. This game is Blackburn away. Both teams challenging for the playoffs, so it's bound to be a tough game. A loss would pretty much put me out of the race for the playoffs. However, a loss for Blackburn wouldn't be uh, completely detrimental to their progress. As you can see, quite a few players are tired, so in came Hills at left back for Robinson. Up front, I've only used it once before there, and that was a, as a sub against Manu when he scored once. But I put Darius Charles up front, made normally a left back. Uh, Ali in attacking right attacking midfield, and Grant comes back in central attacking midfield. Well, it was time for a change at centre back as well. In came Bonds and Gala and Mark Roberts, the dream team. Also, Marcelo the man at right back, so I completely changed the back line. And James Dunn also coming in on the bench. He's a great defence midfielder. And I figured if I got a lead, I'd want to hold on to it. So when he came. As you can see, I did have quite a lot of uh, strength in depth on the bench there, as well as the standard uh, defender on the bench. Kadim Harris, unfortunately, wasn't enough space for him on the bench, or even though he has such good pace. Anyway, first chance of the game, here we are, six minutes in. And unsurprisingly, Hill's involved in it, as well as Granty. Poor shot, though. Need better finishing than that if I'm going to win this game. And in this one, unsurprisingly again, Freeman is involved. What an absolute animal he's proved to be. And you think Darius should be getting ahead on that. But Robinson just plucks it out of the air. And here, this is probably the miss of the season so far. Blackburn captain Dan somehow missing an pretty much an open goal of his head. And again, here we are running down on the wing, the wing with Lukey. Trying to cut inside, but unfortunately wasn't able to. But I win the ball back. The sweat's on. But a good save by Robinson denies Darius Charles. whose finishing is, isn't as good as, uh, say, Haber. Or obviously Barkloff. But a good, decent finishing nonetheless, especially... Certainly for a League One player it would be a good finishing. For Championship, maybe not so much. And yet again, here we are with Lukey. Great cross and a superb volley by Darius. Completely wrong fits the keeper. 1-0 up. And now it's all about just not uh, conceding, holding on to the lead. I've been very poor at uh, keeping clean sheets this season, but if I could get one here, it would be absolutely vital. Especially as I wasn't confident of scoring too many with Darius up front. That did calm me down a little bit to get a goal. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get any. And yet again, here we are with Luke Freeman just running down the wing. It's tearing low a new one. Poor pass, but Granty manages to get the shot away. Good block, though, by Blackburn. And at half time, it was 1 0 to me. Soon after half time, you can see here Blackburn on the attack. They had done appallingly in the first half. Very few attacks. But here they came. Good Willy with a sweaty goal. And Tunstra. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Tunstra. Uh, he wasn't going to miss. Coolly, coolly dispatches it. 55th minute, one all. There's still time, much better than conceding in, say, the 70th minute. As you can see there, again, Ali, I've not been impressed by him this career mode. Wasn't the best signing. His stats say he's good, but personally, I haven't found him to be. As you can see here again, Luki on the ball. Unlucky to see that shot blocked, otherwise it may well have gone in. But you're never going to see Robinson mess, uh, mess that sort of catch up. Save up. <coughs> We come again, Darius, Granty, and yet again, here we are, Lukey, he creates a chance from nowhere for himself, and it's a poor shot, but it was placed perfectly, and as per usual, the acrobatic celebration follows, 2-1 up in the 68th minute, it was going well, looks like I'll be able to uh, guarantee the win, although it would be nice to score another goal, and clearly, I needed to go a bit more defensive, so in came my defence midfielder James Dunn for Greg Tanzi, who picks up a booking. Uh, Tanzi's probably a better midfielder all around. Defensively, they're probably about the same. Also, on came Shruti. Decided to put Granty into my attacking midfield, but as you can see here, I'm switching it around a bit more. In came Bassetti as a centre back, and I decided to play him right back with my other, with my uh, other right back, Marcelo Leman, coming up into right attacking midfield. Eventually decided to switch Bonds and Gala into left, sorry, into right back. So ultimately, 
I should have been more solid going back. But I was worried when they got in this position that Robbo putting his uh, putting his body on the line for the team as normal, as he does in real life, time and again. And it paid off. Here, this is the sort of ball I love pulling off on manual. It would be hard to pull that off and assist in. Freeman, usually he's going to score that, but Robinson's a top keeper and just manages to get a touch on it. As you can see here, 81st minute, you'd think Blackburn would be kind of desperate to get it up, but no, they're just going to do the uh, normal online trick of passing this round, but it backfires spectacularly on them. It's a poor shot by Darius, like Lukey's, but it's right in the corner. The keeper can't stop it. He's a massive mistake there, and that surely guaranteed the win. <coughs> and a vital win it would be too. As you can see, there's still uh, a bit more, a bit more of uh, highlights to come. And, again, it involves Lukey. Running down the wing. Go on, Lukey. You can see here, he's not going to be able to cut inside, but a great cross, and Greg... I thought that was Greg Tanzi, but I believe it was Marcelo Roman. Diving header, unlucky to miss the ball, but 3-1 at full time. It was an excellent result. And it kept me well in the playoff hunt. It took me above Blackburn on points, which was the main incentive. And now I had a week to prepare for the FA Cup replay at home to Sunderland. As you can probably remember from the last episode, drew three all with them as I did last year in the same round. A win would be amazing to get through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. The club's never been past the fifth round. Last, uh, last season in real life we managed to get to the fifth round replay against Tottenham. In fact, for 15 minutes we were 1-0 up at White Hart Lane. But it wasn't to be. Hopefully this year it will be. And that is that. Just giving you a quick overview of the table here. I'll see you all next time.